Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome to another episode of Cosmeteer. Today we're going to design an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter and we're going to set a hundred each against each other to see who wins. What do you think the outcome will be? Interesting question. We're also going to pitch our X-Wing design against the Death Star, a fully upgraded Death Star, you'll see it soon. And that's going to be a lot of fun. How many will it take to take it down? I suspect quite a few. Anyway, let's get on with it. Right, well we've got a couple of ships to design now. So first of all, for the X-Wing, with the wonderful, well, the very small but neat Star Wars mod installed, I've got a single person cockpit here. So I'm going to chuck that in. And then I think right behind them, I'm going to put a little Starfighter reactor, which should be plenty. Hmm, from there I will definitely need uh, bedrooms. So I'm tempted to do something like that. And that leaves the engines to go uh, back here. I think two of them's a good idea. And I have a special part as well. We've got this R2 armor, which is a little droid that does scanning. And I think that's about it. We now have weapons choice. We could go a bit ridiculous and stick this small laser on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. It feels a little bit overpowered for the job at hand, I, I reckon. But I do have another option, and that is this blaster laser. But I sort of feel like it needs the opportunity to. I don't know. Do we want to? Do we want to tuck it in? If I go to blueprint mode, do we want to put it like here and here, and then put uh, uh, some kind of uh, corridor in like this? I don't know. That looks a little weird. Um, we could go for uh, uh, some armor here, corridor behind it. Well, we still need the bedrooms, and I could put a little piece on the front. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, uh, it's not too bad, though. I think it looks a bit... Yeah, that looks all right. That looks okay, I think. And we do need um, the bedrooms to go in. So, I mean, we could do that totally over the top. That's not too bad at all. Tempted to change it slightly. Maybe do this. Put in single beds. And... Let's have a look at this bad boy. How how does it go? That's not too bad. There's lots and lots of power there. Lots of pew pew. How does it fly? Oh, it's not it's not super fast, but it's okay. It's reasonably tough. I think that will probably do for our X-wing. We now need to look at designing a Tie Fighter. So let me pull up a, uh, well, let's stop that. Let's try a new ship design, a new ship. And we're going to chuck it over here. This one needs to be a little boxier, like our proper TIE fighter should be. So I'm thinking something like this. I sort of feel that a couple of blasters, one each side of the center would be a good idea. So now we need to fit in the other pieces we need. Um, Starfighter cockpit. Uh, small bed. How many small beds do we need? I think one more like that. Engines again on the back. Um, these little ones will do the trick. Uh, and then maybe some side plates for the for the effect of the armor. Uh, one and uh, two. What do we What do we reckon? I think that looks quite cool. Yeah, I mean, that looks quite TIE fighter-y. It's sort of not too big, which is good. It's reasonably nippy. Probably a little nippier than the X-Wing by the looks of it. Yeah, so I think what we want to do now is see what 100 of these uh, wonderful TIE fighters and a 100 of these wonderful X-Wings will do to each other. I'm hoping a heck of a lot of damage. So I've managed to place down 100 X-Wings. Here they are. I've actually sort of slightly lengthened them just to make the cockpit and everything look a little bit more size appropriate for everything. So I think that will probably be fine. Over here, 100 of our very best TIE Fighters all painted up. Look at that. They look very intimidating. Look like weird amoeba, actually. So now it's just a matter of getting them all to fight. Before the battle starts, why don't you give me a vote in the poll? Let me know which side you think's going to win. I'd love to hear your votes. And let me know why you think one side won over the other. I think the ship designs are relatively equal. 
here they come, charging into each other, hopefully. <laughs> oh, this looks a little ridiculous. Come on, lads. Will you take each other on? I suspect you will. Here they here they go. Oh, the fighting has started. Oh, that, that TIE fighter is very brave, going right through the middle of the ships there. What have we got here this time? This, oh gosh, this is a little bit crazy. Let's slow it down a little bit so things don't break totally. It's just become a massive slugfest. Everyone, what are you doing? Are you just standing around waiting? This guy is getting pummeled here. This, this TIE fighter is in trouble. What else have we got going on over here? I expect we'll see more X-Wings in trouble. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he is, he is no more here being pushed around the map, taking fire, bumping into the other guys. The various R2 units out there are a little bit distraught. It's looking like he is taking a bit of damage, but not too bad. This guy, oh, there go the engines. He's in trouble. This one's in trouble. We've got several, several TIE fighters down. Over here, I feel like they're not all getting into it enough. So let's make sure that they are all massed together in some big blob. How are you doing? Just fine. Oh, TIE fighter going down. The TIE Fighters are having a hard time of it. I think that's because their central components are sort of exposed, which feels about right to me. And the TIE Fighters weren't that tough, right? I mean, I should, in theory, put shields on these X-Wings, but that would, that would be a bit ridiculous for the size of the ship. They are not doing too bad here. I think a few of these guys are just suffering from being too damaged to do anything. At the back, they're coming in. And in the middle here, why aren't you guys, why aren't you guys moving? I think they're having a difficulty plotting a course through this stuff. X-Wings are going down. TIE Fighters also in a lot of trouble. I can't tell who's winning so far. I can't tell at all. This poor old X-Wing being hammered from multiple sides. Down here, there are still lots of X-Wings just kind of hanging around. They seem to be somewhat surrounded by TIE Fighters, to be perfectly frank. You guys, how about you make it up here? Okay, so make it over here, and then here, and then come into here, alright? There's a little battle around the flanks here. The, the X-Wings that I told to move are currently kind of hovering around their positions. But there are enough TIE Fighters just bunched up here that as soon as any of them get a bit too close, they're taking a real hammering. So you watch, this guy comes in here, and all of a sudden he is having a bad time. We do have some of the X-Wings that have managed to escape, but the rest of them, I think this is looking like a, I think this is looking like a TIE Fighter total victory. I might have to separate these all out and do a count, because I think this is kind of, this is kind of it so far. You guys, are you at least able just to move up? Separate yourselves from your colleagues. We'll try a pincer movement with the guys in the north coming in. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for the good guys, I must admit. There's still a lot of fire going on, so it's a little hard to tell. But, I mean, there's a whole bunch of pretty undamaged, well, reasonably undamaged TIE Fighters back here. Whereas these X-Wings, yeah, I think this is possibly time to call it. I think I'm going to have to separate them out and uh, do a count and see who's won. So I've separated all the mobile ships. As you can see, we have two surviving X-Wings here that can actually move, and a whole bunch of pretty, pretty tough TIE Fighters that have all made it out. But the rest in the middle here is just wreckage. It's a total, total defeat for the X-Wing forces. Poor Rebel Alliance. Well, that's a bit of a worry because pretty soon they're going to be facing the might of the Death Star, a fully upgraded Death Star. I've worked on it, I've made it better, I've made it stronger, I've put shields on it, and we're going to see just how many X-Wings it takes to do some damage to it. So we have our 100 X-Wings, but it's about time we look at the fully and newly upgraded Death Star. So we'll need to give it a little bit of time to pick up its, um, its shields and stuff. But as you can see here, I've put in shields just about everywhere, covered them a little bit with armor where I can just to protect them. Um, the shields all the way around. There's a couple of little blind spots and I just didn't really want to strip out the weapons to cover them up basically. And at the front here, I've sacrificed some of the beams so we can actually protect uh, this part of the ship. And I think that will be a pretty good opponent so let's have a look at what 100, uh, 100 X-Wings are going to do to it. 
I suspect they're going to lose really badly. But, you know, maybe we'll try and get around behind it and see what happens. I, I don't know. Place your bets. So the Death Star is now fully operational. It has a, uh, an AI controlling it, so it should be a good challenge. Our 100 X-Wings need to be pretty nimble. I'm going to try and get around behind the Death Star because I really don't want to have my X-Wings face those, those beams. Now come this way now, come this way. Come on, yes, there's, there's the back. There's the uh, exhaust port we're aiming for. Because that, that's really where we want to go. It's where the least weapons are as well. I'm not sure he's going to let us do that though. But we do, we do have, we do have a lot of X-Wings. We might just be able to surround him. So go to here and then go to here. And I don't know, try and target that, that thing there. Oh gosh, it's turning. It's turning. Go faster. Go faster. Keep going. No, don't, don't let him put your beams, don't let him put his beams on. No, 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 no. You guys, come this way. All of you, come this way. Uh, and all of you, I don't know, just take them on. I think just try and stay there. Wow, that interface is loud. Okay, you lot. Uh, try and stay like, yeah, try and stay like there. And we'll see who's left. Try and stay like this, maybe. Oh, here we go. Oh no, <laughs> X-Wings are, X are being taken down left and right. Okay, come on you guys. I need you to back each other up. You've got to support Luke uh, on his run down the center here, okay? So so move over someone. Oh no, 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 no. This is pretty, this is pretty bad. Let's slow down a little bit. You guys, are you actually going in? Come on, get in there. Oh, the X-Wings cannot handle getting that close to these big guns. And those shields are untouched. I feel a little bit like Palpatine now, sitting there in Return of the Jedi, gloating over the fleet being destroyed. Was it Return of the Jedi? Can't remember, it's been a while. What are you guys doing? Why are you driving backwards towards them? That's it, just, oh, just shoot something. Sh shoot. <laughs> shoot. Oh my gosh. Oh no, the, the, the beams are just destroying everything. He's turning. Is he turning? Is he turning to take us on? No, don't. Don't go that way. Don't. Don't. Oh, you fool. No. Red leader's down. And what's happening here? Nothing has been able to take out these rear ships at all. I feel like we need some bombers. We need some iron cannons there. Electro blasters to help take down shields. But I don't even know how many would need to pull that off. I suspect... I suspect a lot more. And these guys, what are you even doing? Come on, get stuck in. All of you, why aren't you taking on the Death Star? It's not, no, that's not the place to do it from. How, how about you just, um, just, no, you're toast already. A couple here still surviving in the rear of the ship, but is there any significant damage? I'll just see what there is. 10,000 and it's mostly there's a shield generator being taken down. That is it. Wow. A little bit of damage on other things, but not much. Oh man. This is terrible. The, the rebels are doing really badly today. Really badly indeed. Maybe we can get some more ships. Let's see what happens if we have a, a bigger, a larger number, a greater number of ships. That might, that might do the trick. So now we have a total of 200 X-Wings heading to the Death Star. So I'm going to try and come at them from the side here. And then there's just, uh, there's just so many. There's all of these guys from here. So I'm hoping this pincer maneuver. Whoa, the game is struggling with 201 objects on the screen at once. Okay, here it is. 100 from this side. Uh, 100 from this side. Okay, let's hope the game doesn't explode at this point. There's that weird sound, which seems to be a bug, I think, with the way things work. Why are you all driving backwards? Oh my god. Uh, what's happening here? Okay, so that is not a good position for you to come in at. Down here, we're actually seeing almost a bit of shield overloading. 
You know what I reckon you should do guys? I think you should try for this and these power cores. Maybe that will do the trick. Are you even going to move people? Maybe if you come in from this side and you guys come in from... Then we go there and come in from this side. Is anything being done? There's just so much damage. I'll just click on this to get rid of the selection. Oh no, it's just rotating. It's going to rotate through the entire fleet. We are seeing there's a little bit of damage there now. If you guys can just hammer your way through here. Oh no, that is terrible. Over here, the ships are coming in to try that flank attack. There's a f Whoa, <laughs> there are quite a few stragglers and they are going to try uh, coming this way in. Now these guys are actually doing okay. They are hammering pretty, pretty tightly in the back here and I think they're getting some success. There are some weapons firing, but I mean, they're actually biting into the bank. This is pretty, pretty crazy. I'm getting all kinds of flashing warnings about the GPU having trouble. Uh, and I can't do much about that. Take, take them down, lads. Come on, reinforcements, just get in here. You guys, get in, get in here as well. Um, there is a hole opened up here. See what you can do with it. You guys, come on, in, in this way, in this way. It is turning and rotating and burning its way through the rest of the fleet. Not good. Not good at all. These t they just seem to be having a hard time sifting past the destroyed ships. I need a way to make those destroyed ships just vanish because uh, right now everything that's junk is just clogging things up, you see. There is a little bit of success here just from overwhelming firepower, but they are having a very hard time of it. I could add a little bit more assistance. Uh, I think we just want them really close. See what you can do, lads. Likewise here, there's a big... You guys... Oh, you're all way too damaged to do anything, aren't you? And you lot... I think this is it, really. We haven't been able to pull it off at all. Oh my goodness, this is just an absolute punishing. Look, flaming pieces of wreckage. We should at least be able to do some damage when they crash into ships and explode. Oh look, it's actually still going. There's a diligent fighter in there just shooting this laser from point blank. They have lost a few things here, but it's not, not exactly looking ideal, is it? And these guys don't have any control. Can we just take down the weapons there, maybe? I don't think it's likely, but... We'll give it a go. And yeah, the Death Star continues to just gently rotate, incinerating everything in its path. While out here, <laughs> just pieces of spaceship remain. <laughs> One dude, a couple of dudes on the scaffolding, can't do anything. Oh my goodness. This, this is just, oh, this is just appalling. I love it. Uh, well, I think that's probably really the end of the fleet. That's 200 X-Wings. And I think if I put any more in, it's going to get a little overwhelming. I don't think they can actually fit enough of these guys on the around the ship at once. I think they just end up bumping into each other's wreckage all the time. So rather than do that, if you have ideas, you, if you want to see the uh, Death Star taken down and you have ideas for rebel ships, either mail them to me and I'll pitch them against the Death Star, or just suggest in the comments below what you think. I'm pondering perhaps a missile boat, like the cheapest, smallest missile boat I can make as some kind of Y-Wing design? I'm, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. If you are going to send me ships, then um, maybe use the uh, Star Wars mod. I'll chuck a link in the description so that you can get the special little parts. But yeah, I think we can happily say that the new upgraded Death Star is not only fully operational, but completely lethal. It needs a tiny repair bill. And the, the guys have not been able to cut their way into any of these energy cores. If they could have just cut their way in, I think it would be all over over for, uh, for the Death Star, but not today. The rebels have suffered two stinging defeats, and <laughs> that was a very sad R2 sound. I think that's an entirely appropriate way to end the episode. Until next time, I'll be Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching, hope you've had fun. I've had a lot of fun. Catch you again soon. Good night.